How are you all doing? My name is Chris and welcome back to Minecraft Prehistoric Nature. I've been just working on the um, on the lab a bit. I extended it a bit by three blocks. Yeah, by no, by two blocks. So there's more space now. Uh, this one, you just put coal in and you get benzo solvent, which is very nice. And this one, you put benzo solvent and you get oligo pool. So it's all very nice. Um, very nice indeed. <laughs> Forgot what I was gonna say there. So the benzo sulfur goes in here. Well, sorry, the oligo pool. Then the benzo solvent goes in the laboratory benches. So I'm placing this ones in there. 15 in there. We got 17 and 17. And 8. I'm just gonna store it in here for now. So I'll be going. Nah. Not going into the nether. Eh. Now I got enough sulfur. Just need some bucks of sulfur. Mm. Of sulfur. Uh, uh, sulfuric acid, that's it. Hmm. I forgot what I was gonna do. Well, give me a minute. Okay, so I'm back. Sorry about that. Uh, so now we can experiment with the fossils. I have. Too many uh, artificial fossils, so place it in here. Oh, it makes sense. So, what do we need this for then? Hold up. Put you in this. No. If it put you all in this. Okay. Try to make noises. So do I put you in here again or not? Or do I put you in here? No, wait, hold up. No. I think I need to put you in the sulfur in the sulfur bath, so I got enough sulfur, I just need some buckets with water. Or oh, well one bucket with water. Uh the crafting table of course. if it was like this. Mm -hmm. So you find sulfur pretty often in the nether especially. But yeah, I want to show you guys something. What happens if you put sulfuric acid on your own body in Minecraft? I do not suggest you do this in real life. It will permanently harm you. I've seen the images. I've seen what it does, but let's see. Oh no, it does damage, it does damage. Okay, I think they updated, because I installed an update yesterday from 52.02 instead of 52.0. Because now, yeah, it definitely hurts, because you get third degree burns from it. In real life, you get chemical burns, and let me tell you, they are not nice. Because I'm working uh, for my study, I'm studying um, analysts. I'm studying analyst, um, working in a lab, lab assistant, basically. And we occasionally get, uh, or well, the teachers occasionally get calls from people doing internships that a vial of sulfuric acid or flask of sulfuric acid has broken and it's gone over their hands. Uh, well, we saw those images. Let me tell you, you don't want that happening to you. You absolutely don't. So, let me put this there then. I can still stand on it. Oh, it's getting night time already. Oh, come on! Seriously? Ah, the smell of sulfuric acid in the evening. Oh yeah, you're done. It really reminds me of lab work we do. I am mo mainly focusing on the biology side, so... Chemistry side is fun, but it's not at all what I want to do. Ooh, we get some nice fossils, we get some nice fossils. Alright, 
So are these going to the centrifuge? Now if going to the centrifuge, I think this works automatically. I love the animation. Oh, they're done. What's this? Litwitz. I know, hold fast. Hold fast, what is that? Why is that hold fast? I've never heard of this before. No place there. Oh, this one doesn't have the flask or file, sorry. Oh, look at that. That looks nice. Okay, so it's better going there. Oh, you go. Oh. What happened? I heard something break. What happened? Is that normal for this or something? Ooh, here we go. Rolling back the years. Some people wish they could. Yeah, it's supposed to happen. Oh, that's when it's done. Oh, okay. Inmograptus, hey. And Arondaspis. Okay, okay. Oh, uh, you came. A swamp roach, a trinoid, and a trigon. Trigono tablet. Spider like thing, I believe. Do they choose it? That sound scares me every single time because of the goddamn fossils and archaeology mod. Alright. Nice. So after this, we're doing the carbonaceous thing. These. That sound is really still not the best sound I want to hear. Ooh, Edward C. Python. I cannot place it. It's placeable. Uh, I need to make a greenhouse. Um, where well, I'm gonna make a greenhouse is my question. Hmm. I'm storing you in here. I think I want to make this place right here a small little. So, for that, I want dirt on it. All that level will be too small, it'll be like one line. Yeah, I'm not doing that. That would be a nice area. Right there. Oh, 
would like some glass, but I don't know. Oh, I do. Never mind. right there. Yeah, that'll look nice. Good girl. Right, so the Enoplora isn't from the cognitive, so I need to remember. Now I'll place the dirt in there. there. Seeds in here. Voila. Why does this have an arrow like that? Not like that. Do microscopes break? Do they have durability or something? I actually want a tree. Yeah, I'll get more carbonivorous thingies. I'll leave one. Maybe some devonian as well. Uh, five will do. scares me every time. God damn it. Um, yeah, you're going there. Why did you... Did you not go in? Oh, you bloody stupid pool. I love how you can see the bamboos growing really quite fast. I don't know how big the biggest it can get is, but I think it's this. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I think four is the biggest. So let's cut it all down. For the ones that want to know, the dried bamboo is from, I believe, sour animals. I was going to say biomes are plenty, but I am right. That ain't right. Ambience is still amazing. I love the ambience mod I got. So, ooh, we've got a lot of fences now. Are you done? You go there, and you three there. So, those are all animals. Is that what this is for? No. So I need to make two more chests. Mm -hmm. I will probably do. That's coral. 
I don't know that um that isn't coral that is yep it's a moss and that isn't either uh maybe we should put a timeline as well for now this will do I'm gonna separate these so no they're not from the same time period. And try bamboo. Oh, you're done. You gave me coal. Coal goes in there. And Oh, they do spin. Oh, you blimmin... I mean, Macronoropteris, hey! Macro... Those give mm, quite nice planks, don't think I'll use them for it, but... It's nice. And two go separate. Alrighty. So, nothing much in this episode, this is just working around in my house, or well, foundation of my house. Trust me, before episode 5 this house is probably done. If not, then I am very stupid. Ooh. You know what? I'm gonna stop incubating them. I'm just gonna put the cleaned fossils in there because that gives me a bit of an oversight how they look. You know? Um. Calamo. Is this. Oh, it's Devonian. This is, I believe, from Palmyrus. Yeah, it's still from Carmelips, those two are the phone. Oh wait. Born. Okay, so this can be all. God damn it. So, I'm gonna leave the episode here guys, I hope you all really enjoyed this episode of Prehistoric Nature. If you did, please give me a like and subscribe, I always really appreciate it. And as always, stay healthy. Bye bye everyone.